Today may be the final day of jury selection in the criminal hush money trial of former President Trump. Late yesterday afternoon, the judge did announce 12 jurors and one alternate had been seated. So all that remains is the selection of five additional alternates. If things do move quickly, the judge could hold a separate hearing today to figure out what in Trump's legal history can be used during this trial. He is charged with 34 felony counts of falsifying business records to hide an alleged affair in the run up to the 2016 election. New Station's Laura Ingle live for us outside of the Manhattan courthouse there. Uh, Laura, opening statements could happen sometime early next week. Well, that's what we've been hearing, and that would be incredible because, remember, jury selection was supposed to take one to two weeks, and we're just at the end of the first week. So, um, you know, that would be kind of a surprise, but certainly very possible. And we are working through that same uh, group of potential jurors that was brought in yesterday. As you mentioned, uh, 12 seated, one alternate, and now we've got to get more alternates in place. And we've just learned that out of those 96 that were brought in today, or they're going through, I should say, uh, five people have now been excused. So off we go. These are people who said um, for a variety of reasons they can't serve. One said anxiety. Other, others have said that they can't be impartial. Uh, we are in a brief recess right now. Judge Merchant told the courtroom that the fourth or fifth potential juror who was excused was a very brave woman after becoming emotional, telling the judge she didn't feel that she could serve here in court because she has served time. The former president arriving today ready for another day of jury selection in this criminal hush money case that could get underway, as you mentioned, Monday of next week. We now have a look to Nicole at who these jurors are, who will be deciding this case. In the first set of jurors, one through six, we've got a married man without kids who works in sales, an unmarried man with a job in corporate law, a woman of color who works in education, others with jobs in investment banking, security, software engineering. Other professions of jurors 7 through 12 include a civil litigator, a speech therapist, a juror who says they don't follow the news and works in apparel, a retired wealth manager, someone in retail, and another who works in physical therapy. And th those jobs are important because they really kind of craft who it is we are talking about. We don't know their names. And a lot of their personal information will be kept private. Uh, but now we know what they do for a living, and that kind of gives us the insight. Mr. Trump taking the opportunity today to tell reporters heading into the court how unhappy he is about the limited gag order that is restricting him from speaking about the key players in the case. Take a listen here. I have to be released of a gag order. They've taken away my constitutional rights to speak, and that includes speaking to you. I have a lot to say to you. And I'm not allowed to say it. And I'm the only one. Everyone else can say whatever they want about me. The former president is also barred from talking about the expected witnesses in this case, the adult film star Stormy Daniels, who is at the center of all this, and his former lawyer and fixer, Michael Cohen. If the judge gets to the other five alternates that will be needed to get going, there will be a hearing right after the jury selection is complete. That's called the Sandoval hearing, in which Mr. Trump will learn the scope of questions he could face from prosecutors on cross-examination if he chooses to take the stand. So. We could have a double whammy here in terms of what's going on inside of the courtroom, the jury selection, and that Sandoval hearing. We'll let you know how it plays out here in Lower Manhattan. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.